Hello everybody, welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this daily December video. Now I'm recording this the same day that I made the video earlier on uh, about the other football shirts that I own, but I thought I'd sit down with a couple of the wolf shirts that I've got here and just talk about some of the memories and stories that, that re the shirts remind me of. Uh, I know it's not maybe not everybody's cup of tea this video, but mate, if it's not then come back tomorrow and I'm sure there'll be something else for you. But please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's get straight into it guys. So the first shirt I'm going to show you is back from the 2009-10 season. It came out just after my 18th birthday. Uh, this shirt here, following our promotion to the Premier League as champions in 2009. So on the back, I have my own name, which I know is cringy, and the number 18. But it, you know, it's a good, nice memory for me to have. And then to have the Premier League badges, I think, for quite a few years between 2012 and 18. It was nice to just remember that we had played in the Premier League before. Um, yeah, saw me through lots of university days. Uh, this season as well, I went to quite a lot of uh, the games. Home and away, lots of them by myself because all my friends were at university and I wasn't for a little while. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed that season and the fact that we stayed up as well and the way that we did. It just reminds me of players like Ronald Zubar, Segundo Castillo in that shirt as well. Uh, brings back some really good memories. Now this shirt is not my shirt, it's one that I've pinched from my dad, but again, as I explained in the previous video, uh, I played five-side football where half of us have to play in white shirts and half in dark, and I didn't have any white football shirts, so fortunately I managed to find this one, and I've seen that on eBay and on classicfootballshirts.co.uk, they are, it's quite an expensive shirt, so I've, I have treated it with a great deal of respect, but I do love it as well. This number from about 1997, between 96 and 98, I think Wolves played in this away shirt here. Um, and it was sort of brought to my attention again by Harry Mansell from the 77 Club, was wearing one of these on a couple of his match day vlogs that he did on his YouTube channel quite a few years ago. But it just reminded me that it's a beautiful shirt and they don't make shirts like this anymore, do they? With the little collars and I don't know if you can see closely there, but there are little Wolves heads all in the design it's a really it's a beautiful number and a local sponsor as well Goodyear which we had for a number of years this is the sort of away shirt that Wolves were wearing when I started to get into the football and started to watch Wolves regularly um, and of course that famous debut from Robbie Keane was in this shirt as well uh, recently retired Robbie Keane but really really good memories as well from being young and watching the, watching the Wolves with this. Now this next shirt is uh, a weird one because it's, I only bought it last summer, uh, but it's a, one of these retro kits, and it's a retro kit that I can remember Wolves playing in a lot. In fact, it was the home version of the shirt that I've just shown you now, is this one here. A few things annoy me about it is that there's, there's no sponsor in the middle, and the Puma logo is not the correct Puma logo uh, on there. But still, this shirt reminds me again of being young and, and watching the Wolves, but if you watch back... Uh, Lots of the videos that I made at the beginning of last season, I was wearing this shirt quite a lot and going to the away games in this shirt and at that time I wasn't particularly happy in life but this shirt will remind me of the sort of getting up when I've been knocked down sort of vibe. So yeah, it, it brings back memories of those away games that, uh, in the first half of last season, uh, Derby away, Burton Albion away, just the, you know, Reading, going to all those places where we'd struggled so much in previous years and getting all those results, this shirt reminds me of last season. And finally, the shirt that uh, I love the most, and I just haven't got around to framing yet, but it hangs on the stairs on a little nail at the moment. Um, it's a signed shirt from last season. It's by all the players, obviously. Um, really, really pleased with this. Um, as I just mentioned, last season was a big season for me. I went to 50 odd games I think it was in the end, um, the most games I've ever been to in a season, only missed 5 games I think it was away from home all season in the league and the cup, so it was, I was really pleased to have, it was a raffle in the school that I work in, I can't say I won it really, I bought a third of the tickets that were on sale, I think the school raised £90 and I'd paid £30 uh, for raffle tickets, and I'd also uh, tapped up a few people and offered them £150 if they'd won it. So I was determined to win the shirt. Um, and I did. I have said that I would give it away if I was to reach 5,000 subscribers. I think I might increase that now to 10,000. Um, if I get 10,000 by the end of the season, 
I mean, that's going to be some push. But if you all share the videos, if you all get it, maybe I'll give it away one day. But um, yeah, it really means a lot to me, this shirt. And uh, yeah, just looking at all the names on it, thinking years to come, it will remind me of all those uh, away days and all those tense games near the end of the season as well. That they all wore, they wore this shirt as well. They very rarely wore their away shirt for the second half of last season. It was all uh, old gold. So there we have it, a few little stories for you from uh, my past. I may have other wolf shirts somewhere in an attic at my parents' house, but for now they are the few that bring back the best memories. And uh, yeah, I think pro I have got a Dorito shirt somewhere with number four and Ray on the back. Anyway, let me know your favourite wolf shirt in the comment section down below. Are there any that bring back any particular memories for you that are not linked to football at all? Uh, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments down below. Thank you for interacting as well in the recent videos. Really enjoyed that. Uh, and I love reading your comments, even if I can't get back to all of you. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.